Let's fucking make sure, dude. <laughs> you might want to uh, watch the F-bombs, though, because right. I do think that the... Yeah, <laughs> so we have learned that when it says live, it means live. Right. Um, it's gorgeous here. <clears throat> So we don't we don't need to wait for, for people to come in. I think we learned that. No, he records. Um, yeah. But we are at at work. Uh, we are at at my restaurant, um, and I'm about to leave for the day. But <clears throat> just recently, somebody somebody attempted to. I feel they they wanted to 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 call me out. So basically, what they were saying is that in many ways, uh, the charity work that I do. Uh, wanting to give people meditation for free and doing these things essentially they're saying that I'm a huge hypocrite because it makes me feel good and that is my motivation and inspiration to help other people so you know the the reason that I wanted to share this on uh, this particular group and um, talk to you guys about this is because this will come up time and time again in terms of uh, law of attraction okay so is it okay to have moments uh, where you're being selfish? Is it okay to um, feel good about helping other people? Um, of course, you're right. I don't, I don't necessarily listen to the haters, but um, I'm okay with introspection. And we're outside, I'm sorry. So if you hear a, a semi-truck, uh, Schnooks is getting their deliveries across the street. Um, but I, I don't believe that I'm ever above reproach. So when somebody does say something to me, I want to open my heart, open my mind. I want to, I want to value uh, what another person is saying without letting it change, you know, my energy as well. Um, so you know, I don't mind if somebody does call me out. If somebody does say something, uh, you know, maybe if enough people are observing this behavior in me, maybe that is something I need to look at. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I can't see it for for some reason. Um, but, so here's my answer, and if this person happens to watch the video, you know, I, I, I don't uh, want to seem malicious or anything like that, of course, that's never my intention, but why not answer a question, uh, your question, and what you were saying uh, to the entire group, you know, to, to everybody. So the question is, is it okay to feel selfish or, or, or have moments where you are selfish? And is it okay to feel good about the things that we do, such as charity work and helping other people? Um, so I, I'm obviously going to say yes on both accounts. Um, you know, I was talking with Lyle, and uh, you know, we have both experienced the same thing. Um, and I was asking him, you know, uh, and, and and you can tell the people what what you think. You know, how how do you feel about? Uh, feeling good about something or taking a moment to be selfish and feel great yeah. about yourself. Yeah, yeah well, like, it's perfectly okay. And it's, I mean, if you think about it in that respect, it's a win win. And it's something that for us, I mean, we, you don't indulge on, it's able to capture it in the moment and um, to feel that you're actually able to help somebody and it makes you feel good in the same sense. Uh, you both come out in a positive respect of the of the word, and and you don't indulge, and it's not something that, you, that you're doing, like you said, maliciously, and it's not the, something that you dwell on and, mm -hmm. and and hold forever. So, um, I'd say win win. I'd say win win. <laughs> you're you helping know, people out. You know. Well, one of the things that I've I've realized in my life, and I I realized this very very early in my life, is that when I do things that that are bad. Uh, bad I, f I feel bad about them yeah. uh, and this is true for my personality and it's, it's true for yours as well although there can be some differences but uh, if I do something to intentionally hurt somebody's feelings I feel terrible right like I I feel gross inside when I know that I have uh, either intentionally or uh, maybe I could have done something a little bit differently to prevent it sure. you know so this is a feeling that makes me feel terrible and I know that I can control that to some extent by um, relaxing by finding different, uh, you know, finding different avenues and different ways to, um, oh, battery's getting low, so, We're okay. you know, I'm never prepared, <laughs> this is just the weirdest thing, I'm, um, uh, impromptu. you know, I, I wanted to do this one impromptu, yeah, because, um, you know, I felt that it's an important, uh, important subject to talk about. It's a good topic, too. You know, we are going to feel good when we help out. If you do community service and you volunteer and you give something away for free and you see somebody bene benefiting from that, of course, you're going to feel fantastic and that's a beautiful feeling and you're going to want that feeling yeah, again. Right. It's a desire. 
uh, you know, my desire is to have peace. Um, but that desire is no different than the desire of wanting a Ferrari. Only, uh, the only difference is, is that, you know, peace I can have without anything else. A Ferrari, you're going to have to have some sort of income or something to, to trade for that. But uh, in essence, desire is desire. And my desire is to feel good. And if that's selfish um, to some people, I just, I don't, I don't really have a good response for you. I don't have anything really um, good to say about that, you know. Um, there is a time to be selfish. There is a time to take care of yourself. If you want to love another person, you have to love yourself first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y you and I, you know, we, we've been, you know, friends for a lot of years now. So we've, we've seen this where time and time again, people repeat these cycles. They re repeat these things over and over again. Right. And they cling to arguments that bring them nothing. That makes absolutely no sense to me. So what is his argument? His argument is that I shouldn't do things selfishly. So why should I do them? Yeah. <laughs> why? You know, I, I want to help people. I love the look on a person's face when they feel better, when they move better, when they understand things a little bit and more. So, and like, if it's going to make you feel good, then it's always going to be categorized as selfish anyway. Right. Because <laughs> so, there's no way around it. Why would this person make an argument? Like, what is the basis of the argument? So the argument is... Uh, that first of all, I shouldn't feel good, and that I shouldn't <laughs> ever have a moment where I take care of myself, where I take care of my emotional body, where I take care of my energetic state. Because we all know that when we work from the inside out, it everything is just more smooth. It transitions better. It follows a path with the least resistance. So, if I want to help Lyle Jackson feel better. I can do it in a way uh, that is a little bit easier if I first feel better. I can share my peace and my vibration instantly with him in my tone of voice and right. Lyle has these beautiful kind eyes and uh, if he's feeling crummy, they're a little bit less kind, you know, <laughs> but if he's feeling really good himself, those eyes just shine and uh, the smile brightens up the room. and. Now another person is feeling good, and then another person will feel good, and it's a little bit of rhythmic entrainment where uh, people just start to fall in sync with this feeling good feeling. So um, I think there's a very big difference between trying to take advantage of somebody and... Um, well, and also, I mean, when you feel good, you're also in a little more open space and, and not so caught up in mental problems or incessant streams of thought. And so when you're from it's that true. space, though, people are able to mm -hmm. be a little more open to you and be easily affected by, you know, your positivity. So, mm -hmm. I mean, makes so, sense. Like with your singing. I mean, you've, you've mentioned to me before that when you sing, you know, you, you get a reaction from, from the crowd. You know, you get a reaction from, from the people that are listening. Yeah. It, and, it's, I've, I've thought about this for a long time. It's really? almost, there's no way around a little bit of selfishness in opera and performing. Mm -hmm. Even though I uh, primarily do it to try to, you know, get them out of their, you know, strut or try to take them to a, an outlandish, adventuristic place, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but it makes you feel good, right? Yeah, 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 of course. And if, if everybody in the audience just had this stone-cold face. <laughs> no applause. No yeah. applause, no love, like you're going to feel that too, right? Yeah, right. So, you know, I think it's, I personally think that it's absurd to say that you, you can't have a time to be selfish. You can't have a time to want to, to better yourself and feel good yourself um, and in the process uh, help others and help others feel good. And then we all just lift each other up in, in that way. We can be encouraging to one another. We can help one another. We can make one another feel great. And uh, this exchange, this, this exchange between people uh, will just expedite the manifesting process because we're sharing a vibration. We're, we're helping to raise each other up and that's what I'm all about and, that, and that's what I want to do. And yes, in some ways it's selfish because I feel good when I make other people feel good or when I give them information that potentially helps them in a situation in their life. So um, I think the bottom line and, and I would love to hear comments later and we can address some of them later if, if some people uh, don't agree because I like to learn, you know, I, I want to learn more. So if I can learn from another person, uh, maybe something that I haven't really uh, thought of before, uh, I'm not a guru. I don't think anybody needs a guru. There are no secrets. Everything is observable in the natural uh, environment. Law of attraction is something that we can observe 
outside of ourselves as well as inside of our own experience because it is a principle of nature. It is right. a principle of how the universe works. Um, so uh, it's really unescapable. Like you can't, you can't find a way out of that type of thing because it's a principle of nature. You, right. There's no way out of nature. You are nature. You are part of nature. Um, I am the I am. So that's my response. Um, I feel good when I help people. Lyle feels good when he gives a good performance and he lifts the spirits of the crowd. It's not wrong to have moments of, of being selfish. If you're, if you're taking from somebody, you know, if, yeah. if I'm trying to take from you, take from you, take from you, then I, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think everything should be an exchange. You know, Lyle works at the restaurant and it's an exchange. You know, he could, he could go work anywhere else. I've, I've had so much trouble finding uh, people with, um, you know, his, his thing, you know, the, the thing that, that Lyle Jackson has. And, uh, you know, other people will pay him for that thing because he does it really well. But, you know, Lyle has chosen to, to, to work with us and continue with us because we're growing together and there's so much more uh, happening um, even at our little restaurant in terms of law of attraction, in terms of building each other up, in terms of uh, everybody feeling good about what we do. You know, we'll have a very, very busy day where everything seems to be going wrong and everybody is chill about it. Like. That doesn't happen often in service. <laughs> yeah, what, what restaurant do you know that, you know, everything is going awry, we're super busy, we don't have enough help, things are going wrong, and everybody's just like, let's do it, you know? Yeah. No problem. You know, we're going to find the silver lining somewhere, it and we'll fun. just get it done. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, the better you feel uh, in, a, in a selfish way, you should want to feel good. I want you to feel good, and you should want that also. Um, it, I do understand his perspective, though, because I, I had the thought hmm. because I remember having some friends on Facebook, or at least one person who had posted that, you know, they they did a good deed and somehow they found 20 bucks or something five minutes after. So, so, then they, so then, you know, they started saying, well, let me just go do some more things because maybe I'll get, you know, 20 bucks. But then you're also putting that, you're kind of disconnecting the, doing the right thing for, like you said, um, mm -hmm. For the wrong reason. It's a, I mean, in, instead intention. of feeling good, that's for, yeah, it's yeah. exactly. Yeah. In, intention has a lot to do with it. If my intention is to feel good, that may be a little bit selfish to some people, but I, I, I don't care right. because I want to feel good. And when, when I feel good, others can, can feel good. But it does have a lot to do with intention, like you said. Right. Uh, there are energy vampires out there, people who just want to take, 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 take. Sure. And that's a type of selfishness. That's a type of self-centeredness um, that is, is debilitating to, to everybody. Um, but, you know, speaking of San Francisco, our teacher uh, recently visited the, the city of 10,000 Buddhas in San Francisco. So I really understand coming from a martial arts tradition that is steeped in Buddhist philosophy, Taoist philosophy. Um, in, in a lot of Buddhist tradi traditions, the word desire is, is a word that you, you, you don't want to say too much. You know, it's, it, desire is something that you are supposed to be repressing somehow. But that is really only a lack of understanding of what desire is and attachment to a desire. Yeah. Um, which uh, Abraham Hicks goes, uh, you know, the, um, uh, some of the books that we read uh, when we talk about ask and it is given there's there's legitimate sections on this when it talks about finding peace and and not necessarily being attached to the end goal but rather watching the step right in front of you um, but uh, the sound of the muscle car means it's almost 11 and uh, uh, our, our cook is here so I'm gonna hit the road uh, this is Lyle Jackson I'm Ernest this was, Philippines uh, welcome I am 25 percent Filipino what's up Cam Hey, buddy. We're doing a Facebook Live. Say hi. Come on in, you man. Come say before, hi? We, before we come depart. Here. Before my battery goes dead. <laughs> this is Cam. <laughs> come Cam. on, man. <laughs> this is Cameron. Hello. <laughs> he, he works at the restaurant with us. And sure uh, I think he could also attest that at times uh, this restaurant is a very unique place to work. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I think that we're a, a, pretty, a pretty thankful group. Fantastic team too. <laughs> Aww, we look so cute together, and we're all matching in our in our matching work shirts. Sure, are. thanks uh, for joining in. But yeah, that's all we have for today. Right. Um, I might come back a little bit later, but uh, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I really appreciate this group, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to specifically uh, talk, uh, you know, to this group about this subject because you're you're going to experience it. Someone is going to tell yeah. you that you shouldn't feel good or that it's somehow selfish or that um, 
that your motives are somehow impure and only you know your motives so uh, you know keep your motives pure keep keep your heart open and keep your mind uh, open and uh, you know like the cup if the cup has some space then then uh, you know you, you can put something inside of it if your cup is already full you know there's no more room for anything to go in so I try to, to, to be a 50% cup I'm full of a little bit but you know I still got a little bit of room to grow so uh, again, I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate this group, and I'll talk to you guys yeah. again soon. Thanks. Peace.